YouTube, it's your girl Dominique. Uh, come to do two things. Um, one, talk to you a little about this hair. And this hair is called Says Me. Says Me, something like that. Last video I said Sassy Me. And clearly it doesn't say Sassy. It says Says Me. Um, this is what I did. Uh, obviously it's straight as compared to the last video I did cut my bang more than before I cut it I layered it some on both sides in the front uh, I didn't show you the back last time how the hair looks um, the hair isn't Super, super soft, but at the same time, I don't mind that. Uh, I've had it in going on a week, and so far, so good, uh, actually. Um, I was spraying a lot of 6-in-1 conditioning spray, weave conditioning spray, and so I had washed it on Wednesday, and um, this is actually the top portion with no product. Um, my part does look a little big, my visible part does look kind of big in this video, but if you see me in person, it's actually not, um, it actually looks fine, my closure is about there, um, I've only used product on the ends, because for some odd reason on this side, my ends feel a little rough, even after me trimming them and conditioning, washing and conditioning the hair. This side for some reason feels good, but um, it holds a curl okay. Um, as you can say, this is still bumped. Um, this really isn't stick straight. Uh, and as for the curls, they did kind of last all day, only because I would roll them, I would curl them, and then I would set them on these flexi rods, um, and that would make the curl last for a considerable amount of the day, and since I had cut the front shorter, I had to do, um, thin curls, to get it to kind of fling out, uh, and I'm also here to talk about cosmetology school, as you guys know, I started on Monday, and, um, Everything's going good so far. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry I can't show you the things we've learned, only because I don't have my kit yet. We haven't taken our kit home. Uh, we don't take our kits home until about the seventh week if we are doing financial aid. And I am doing financial aid. Uh, so I, I don't take it home until about the seventh week. And that's usually a week um, my first week on the floor. Mm, for six weeks, I'm in Maryland, so I go to this place called the Fila Academy in Glen Burnie. They have you in core, and core is basically your basics, your basic cuts, your basic color, your basic perms, uh, your basic relaxers, um, Uh, your foils, you learn uh, your roller sets, blow dries, um, styling, all of that. You learn that in your first week, in your first six weeks. And then you transfer over to adaptive, which is your time on the floor. Core is six weeks. Adaptive is give or take two to three months, depending on how fast you finish your, um, your sheets. They give you sheets of things you have to do, uh, and they give you about three of those sheets, um, and you have two to three months. Depending on if you come every day and do what you're supposed to do and get everything done, um, that's two to three months. And then they have creative, which is your last stage of the process, and that is about another two months. Um, the program overall is eight months. It's 1,200 hours. Um but so far this first week we have done uh we've done basic roller sets we we've set our mannequins 
Um, we've done spiral perms, the, the pattern for spiral perms. We learned how to do the four way and the six, four, five, and six parts. So, you know, the four, four way parts, it's your basic parts down the middle. But the only thing about these sides is you don't go as far back as people think. You stop, actually, you start right about the, the highest point of the head. I, I can't tell right now because basically I have weave in my head, but you will lay a comb flat. And wherever it doesn't rock, which is about here, right here, that is the highest point of the head, which is called the apex. So you will start parting down here and you will stop. Sorry. You stop right just a little tad bit behind the ear, which is called the um the mastoid process. There we go. Uh, your six way, you will have a section here, 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 and then three in the back. Trust me, a six way is hard. Because you're trying to get the back panels as even as possible. Because the middle to the back, the whole mohawk section has to be completely even. Um, um, and then your five way is a section here, 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 and then a standard part down the middle in the back. Uh, when you do the middle panel, it has to be right about three inches across. So it has to be about here in the front. And it has to stop at the apex, um, both for your five. No, for your five, you go all the way back to the crown, which is all the way back here. And for your six way, you stop all the way at the apex. Uh, we did our basic roller sets. We were learning the techniques for a spiral perm. Uh, we did thermal styling, basically how to use a Marcel curling iron, how to use our blow dryer, and... Um, how to use our flat iron. Everybody knows how to use a flat iron. Uh, so, hold on. I have, I actually have a Marcel right here. This is what you call a Marcel iron. You know, the clamp, and then it spins around. So when you hold a Marcel, this barrel part has to face you. So it has to be like this. It has to face you. Of course my camera is the opposite way. So you have to use these three fingers. Well, these three. One of these three to pump out. Click out. This finger never goes on the inside because you'll be likely to clamp it. So, when you do that, it has to be this one, either this one, this one, or even your pinky, or you can do all three. You can do two, this way, whatever is comfortable for you, basically. So, this, and you clamp out, you season, you season, which is you, basically going over once and then you're going over a second time stop midway and you begin to curl but as you're doing it you have to have control over the tips um that's basically what we, we've done so far uh have any questions please let me know but I'm loving it. Each day we're learning something new. Monday we're actually going to start cutting hair. I'm kind of excited. Um, so, my program is eight, eight months, 1200 hours. You know, I'm trying to be in and out, do what I need to do to get out. Uh, but I am wearing weave for the time being um, to keep my hands out of my hair to let my hair grow. Um, and I will also show you my makeup for today. It's actually, you can't, okay, you can. It is 
a natural eye. You can't really tell in this light because it's not daytime. So I have a natural lid. Uh, I'm breaking out from my scarf on my forehead. Uh, I have a natural lid, um, a little brown in the crease to accentuate the crease. And what I did was have a pop of color, which is basically a teal liner from MAC. This is pretty old. Uh, and that is it. Um, and I used CoverGirl Queen for foundation. That is it. If, and the more I learn, the more you will learn. And once I'm able to bring my mannequins home, I will definitely have some tips and and everything like that when I come back. Um, as for makeup, I'm trying to get the editing thing down uh, because I do want to to change the way I did my eyebrows in the last video because obviously <laughs> these look a lot better in the last video. Uh, I was just trying something new when I did that instead of what I usually do. Um, but have any questions, concerns about if you're interested in going to cosmetology school, please feel free to ask me questions. I do recommend when you start bring comfortable shoes. And if they have a dress code, please go by their dress code. It will make your life a lot easier. Um and wear extremely comfortable shoes. I suggest crocs, seriously. The no shoes. I have a pair. Actually let me show you. These are the pair that I wear so far. They're cute. They are comfortable. And I have no problems with them all day. They have a little so-called rhinestone on them. Wear comfortable shoes. Do yourself that favor. <laughs> uh, but I will definitely be back. Um, try with a makeup tutorial. So I can get the editing now. And um, the next time I do do, uh, I'm trying to keep this in for at least another week or two. Um, I would definitely try to take pictures and do a slideshow of my invisible part, a better one. I want to do a part down the middle. Um, so take the video will be easier. Yeah, the video will be easier. But anyways, any comments, questions, concerns, let me know. Leave them down there. And as to next time, see you.